to our 13th episode of Dark and Covered, I think. That's the number. Yeah, that's yes, the one. bizarre. I got it right. Um, I'm one of your hosts, Grant. So we've also got Matt and Doug back with us. Oh, that's it. And our guests today are Ben and Brigitte, all the way from the UK. How are you guys doing? Not too bad. Hanging in there. Nice. Yeah. yeah. As we all are. <laughs> As always, uh, before we get stuck into things, let's give over to Doug. Doug, what's happening in the news today? Okay, we'll do some of the latest statistics real quick. Um, in terms of total cases uh, national, uh, globally, uh, we're up to 1.38 million. Um, but active cases, 959,000 with uh, 372, sorry, 1 million and 7,000 active cases. Um, 909,000 serious and uh, 372,000 cases have been resolved. Um, as for the, uh, the global leader is still the USA with an extra 10,000 cases today, bringing their total to 377,000 cases. Hmm. Uh, that's roughly, roughly half the population, I believe, um, of, the, of the United States. I think the United States has a 600,000 person, uh, 600, 200 million, so no, not oh, near I was, was going to say, no. <laughs> 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 so, if, if it's 50% of the population, I'm going to panic. <laughs> I do apologize. Anyway, um, in terms, of, in terms of, our, of, of, of where we are in South Africa, we have, uh, we have 68 new cases today, coming up to 1,749 cases. Uh, 63 new cases, uh, sorry, um, with a total of uh, one new death in the last 24 hours. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, our guests being from the United Kingdom, they're currently standing on 55,000 cases total um, with 786 deaths in the last 24 hours and 3,634 3, new cases in the last 24 hours. So wow. still quite high. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of news uh, directly from the country, there is some good news for all of you new parents out there. Products that are considered for the care of babies and toddlers have been included in the list of essential items. So you can now go out and buy baby clothes, um, which they weren't able to do at the start of the lockdown, which is a good thing. Um, and um, as for uh, the ministerial team, uh, Minister Ndabeni Abrams decided on Sunday to go out for lunch and have pictures taken with her first uh, during the lockdown. Needless to say, that uh, was not in following with the guidelines and so has caused a bit of a stink, I think, more so because she decided to put the photograph of herself up on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, she was visiting, but it says here, the president is... What's going on? I don't know. I think Doug is busy being corrected. Okay. So we're... Some... <laughs> okay. She wasn't the one, she wasn't the one who put up the picture. It was an ex-minister who put up the picture of them. Needless to say, they were both having lunch together. Right. So, right. Okay. And then in, in international news, um, uh, Boris Johnson is still in ICU. Uh, he's getting oxygen in ICU. And the United Kingdom has uh, rejected Trump uh, with Boris Johnson's coronavirus treatment. Um, I'm not sure whether he's relieved that he won't have a massive medical bill at the end, or he's terrified that he's got to deal with the NHS, but we'll have to find out. <laughs> All right. <laughs> anyway, that's it. For the no new. to test your, your health system, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> But now, uh, Ben and Brigitte, where, where in the UK are you guys? Ben? 
Uh, we, we live in Barnet, which is North London. So yeah, we are in the epicentre. We both yep. work in the actual centre of London, which you would refer to as the city. So again, right in the epicentre of everything that's going on at the moment. Yeah, and, and are you guys essential services? Are you going into work or are you working from home now? At the moment, uh, so I work for London Business School as Operations Manager <coughs> of the Learning Innovation Team. Um, and mm. we shut down a week earlier and we uh, started staff to go home, from home and started inputting and developing online as quick as we possibly could for our MBAs and, mm. you know, MIPS occasionally. I mean, uh, but a week before we were actually advised. Um, the week we were advised was, uh, I believe it was a Tuesday. We all actually went in on the Monday um, and they shut us down. Wow. I think um, it was the 23rd. I think it was the 23rd where everything started. 23rd of March, everything started in earnest. Like, yeah. like Brigitte's saying, people that yeah. work from home, work from home, all initial travel stopped. No gathering in groups more than two people. And definitely if you're not from the same household as well. This is the constant information that we've been getting since the 23rd of March. Yeah. yeah. Um, and and put everything into lockdown uh, uh, where the government, where Boris Johnson did actually come on TV and in, the, in essence shut everything down. So sure. normal yeah. essential uh, retail has been closed down. The only things that are open are chemists, supermarkets, obviously where you can get your food from. And that's pretty much it. If I'm being honest with you, that is pretty much it. Wow. Well, at least you guys still have your pharmacies. Uh, we were speaking to a guest from Hohot the other day. And uh, they decided to close the pharmacies during the lockdown. So they were. Uh... <laughs> yeah, they're in China. They're in crazy. China, yeah. So. Um, but uh, how's lockdown been for you guys? How many days have you been in lockdown now? So what we on now? It's like third week. Third week. Um... I'll, I'll be completely honest with you. Um, it's, I don't think it's. A, I, 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 I enjoy my own company anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the things I've had to get used to um, is my mum's is what you would call someone that is uh, susceptible. She's over 70 years old. Mm. So being able to go and check up on her regularly is a. Uh, Your mum's class is vulnerable. Yeah, she's, so yeah. she's vulnerable she is actually in isolation, um, full isolation. Um, she's had medical procedure surgery uh, less than six six weeks ago. Wow. Um, okay. Follow up. I mean, she's had a, a bypass. It's yeah. yeah. And really, like I've been saying to her, you don't need to go out for anything. You know, my brother lives near her, so if there's any shocking, he can go and do it. I'm a train ride away, even though I don't really want to go out. But if I have to, I have to. Yeah. That she has to go to is exactly the places that you don't want to go to. Mm. Like it's a hot, hospital it's, a, a, it's almost like a hotbed waiting pattern because everybody that is vulnerable are in those the same, and it just takes one instance of a person not washing their hand or somebody touching the arm of somebody that somebody coughed on. Mm. It, and in yeah. regards to what I'm, I've been furloughed, so that's going to go in blocks so at the moment i'm explain what furlough is though, right so because... basically yeah. the company hasn't got enough business mm. to pay fees they can apply for government help pay 80 percent of my salary so at the yeah. moment i'm 80 percent of my salary and what i was told is being done in three week blocks so at the moment i think i've got another week and a half to wait to see if i'm going to go back to work now personally I'm hectic. environmental technician pest control things like that as well they're really yeah. trying to get us designated as key workers, but I just don't know how that's going to work. If I'm, being mm. really honest. I'm a little bit in the dark, and I'm just pointing some updates from my company at the moment as well. Is not essential at the moment. Well, so because there's so many different companies that that do it. Two biggest ones in England at the moment. One's called Rent-A-Kill, which I think everyone's heard mm -hmm. of, and the other. Lab, which is an American company, so they're a global company. Now they have contracts with NHS where they look after them. So those two particular companies have been designated as key workers, and I think they're in the process of environmental engineering. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
well, that, is saying, uh, that, at least... that involves <coughs> in and out of public transport, that involves going inside companies that can sometimes have up to 14 floors and mm -hmm. over a thousand employees. I mean, yeah. where I work, I work, I work in Westminster, I work in Knightsbridge, I work in Oxford Circus, I work in Soho, I work in all the, the major, you know, touristy yeah. areas of London. Yeah. So, Let's hope that you can get back out there. We don't want Corona to be over just in time for the bubonic to return to London. <laughs> exactly. exactly. <laughs> But I mean, like, we also don't know what what the rate of transmission is. Like, if insects can transmit Corona as well. I mean, somebody sneezes on a cockroach, um, and the cockroach goes into seven rooms in a hospital. Yeah, exactly. Or exactly. <laughs> you know, it's as simple as flies. You know, because flies they they mm. land on whatever and move to another place and transfer things as well. Yeah. See, we've not got the information. Like what you were saying there, we don't know. We don't know. It's the error. Yeah, okay. I know personally, we, we're sitting with an ant problem at home now, and we like really wish we could get people <laughs> to fumigate. Okay. It's, okay. it's so, so annoying. I'll chat with Rui. Rui can sort it out like that. In two minutes. Yeah. It's All right, well, I'll, I'll, definitely, I'll definitely pass that information But also, along. you know, also on, on, on the flip side of things, our daughter. Um, who's 11 years old, Gabriella, um, she's in her last year of primary school and it's mm -hmm. this uh, would have been, well, now she would have been doing some of the most important exams of her primary school career to help her um, because she's just been accepted to one of the best schools in the whole of the United Kingdom. Oh, wow. Mm. Congratulations. But this being her last year, it's going to be, and it's not just her, all the children that are in year six in England, yeah. in the prospect of not going back to school for this year, so then they might not see their friends again, because everyone branches off and goes to different schools. and different Oh, places. hectic. Yeah. So, so she's just written her 11s, is that right? They call it SATs at the moment. Yes. So, I mean, and what I've said to my daughter is that she doesn't really need to pay attention to them. They're more... The results that they get from them is more based on what the school's done. So it's more the school that's being tested rather than the children. Okay. So pressure off their shoulders more than anything else. But I mean, like Gabby like said, she's already been accepted into a very, very good school. Okay. We're not her education. She's quite capable. They've been doing online stuff and, and staying and the school has teachers. been actually above and beyond my expectations um, because the school she's in now wasn't our first choice for her. Uh, hmm. to be um, I didn't like it, uh, but uh, they really, uh, towards the end now, they've pulled it out of the bag and the homeschooling that they've offered, including personalised quality time with her teachers, is absolutely amazing. Angela updates daily on all the stuff that she's done. Um, and so much so that she's already in the book of excellence in the two weeks that they have done home learning. She's been in the book of excellence three times and won wow. all the day. Oh, but yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Good for her. Yeah, uh, so she it, 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 it yeah. is positive, but it, it also has a, a mental impact because on yeah. the flip side, we've got a 19 year old who turns 20 on Saturday. And what, what we can't do nothing for him, you know? Without yeah. Milk. Yeah. So, yeah, man. Yeah, we are, we are. We are social animals. We are social animals. You know, we do like getting out. Like yeah. Friends yes, and things like that. Because we so, are a party animal family. But at, <laughs> <laughs> at the moment, you just don't want to anything. If I'm being yeah. like, with with all of us, we've got no underlying illnesses, but we could be carriers. I yeah. Suppose. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's the responsible thing. That all we can do is, is sit and wait. Exactly, exactly. It's the thing. What we're told in essence, in good faith, that they are telling us the whole truth, which I don't believe they are. <laughs> Our letter from Boris Johnson. Oh, cool. Oh. Oh. 10 say? Downing Street, no Can we open Yeah, let's, I don't know, can we open it? <laughs> I don't know if we can read. Well, we can't right. read it. I will scan it and send it but to you, Okies. Basically, just tell us the same doors. 
Hey, I'm sure they're telling you to be. We would share her on the television. Oh, listen, we've all had text messages on our phones as well. Every I single person you. I know Thanks. has had a text message from the government. That's Wait, I'm going to show you. This is okay. Look, look I mean, get one. my daughter, who is 11, uh, uh, and we just got her her own phone because we thought she was going to be doing. Uh, independent traveling to because this just yeah. born now and she is old enough now uh she even got one wow 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 oh it's too bright it's, no yeah. it's too bright yeah but, okay. i mean i, I was I just saying, a word for it I, I was i was just gonna say I, like for all we know we have been sent letters but we'll only receive them like this time next year <laughs> 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 Yep. And then the post office was in shambles hands. already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, so what have you guys been doing to keep yourselves entertained? I mean, during this, this lockdown period. Right, so like Brigitte said, she's been working from home. So honestly, from eight until five, she's flat out. It That's... seems like she's been work while she's at home than, than when she was at home. Hardest I've ever worked. Really? <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> FIFA and Netflix. <laughs> nice, <laughs> very, very nice. And we've well, got we've got a dog, and we've got a giant park at the back of us. So it's only the last couple of days where we've been told, you know, you really shouldn't be letting the dog off the lead. But we've got, like I said, we've got we've got a gigantic park at the back of our house. Nice. We've got our own garden. We had a we had a fry yesterday. Was, was yesterday? Yeah. Yeah, we had a fry yesterday. Nice. Got um, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> He's British and a little bit of and red. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be honest with you, guys. I mean, as a family, we get on really well with our 19 year old already. I mean, it's not like he's trying to avoid us or anything like that at all. Okay. We, we, he comes out socially with us now. He's, yeah. he's quite open to our world, if that makes sense. And we're cool enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <Number one. laughs> quite a lot of reading material. She's got her devices that she's hooked up to the internet with as well, which, you know, you, you try and limit as much time as they can, but she's very much into her art as well. So okay. she's Absolutely. Poetry, lots of painting, lots of drawings and stuff like that. Cool. Mm. But the animals are keeping us on our toes. If I'm being completely honest with you, we get to spend more time with our animals than what we normally do. And it's, it's the kitten. So hey, oh, cheese. look at that. Cute, man. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. We're very like live. Uh, 10th floor of a block of flats you know we, we we've yeah. got outside area it's just for us our, mm. our garden so we've got our own bedrooms ones. we've got the lounge we've got the kitchen oh, that's our amazing lounge, you know i mean we have our moments where we where we moan at each other and stuff like that and then i'll go away and sulk. and he's only slept on the couch once during the whole of the lockdown thing so he's wow well done. Okay, That's uh, close. <laughs> well done, sir. <laughs> Tell I'm the South African party. <laughs> right, well, it looks as though we're about to come to the end of our 15 minutes. So I just want to, before we, before we, we cut to, uh, before we, we, we end, uh, do you have, uh, you were talking about reading material. Do you have any suggestions for the, uh, for the listeners and the watchers out there who, uh, a tired of screen time okay. something to read? Personally, I, I, I can't speak highly enough of Terry Pratchett and the Discworld novels. There's so mm. wide the there's Amen. something for everyone in there. Amen. Um, I think he's a fantastic author and it's a very thinly veiled critique of today's society as well. So I, I, I recommend anything written by Terry Pratchett. Oh, yeah. Sam just made it. me uh, read uh, the, uh, the Mort uh book which is series. the first of his death yeah. series which yeah. is absolutely yeah. hysterical so yes i would agree with that uh, and yourself Bridget? honestly i'm gonna have to revert back to my old south african ways and i'm gonna have to say the power of one yeah okay <laughs> uh, school is, there, right? yes if you haven't read that book people's Power of One, followed yeah, by fantastic. Candy afterwards. Yes, they're fantastic novels. They are fantastic. Uh, novels. Bruce Cordas. He is absolutely he is South African, but oh my goodness. Uh, yeah. Okay. Book. Every emotion every South African feels every day is in that book. And for the 
sectors. My little one at the moment is in manga. So yeah, any colour form got the youngsters just to get their yeah. brains going. I think is, is it? obviously it's discretion that is. So. Yes. Yes, manga yeah. is definitely at parents' discretion. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. choose the right kind of manga. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, you'll investigation for you first. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Awesome, right. guys. Well, thank you so much for your time. It's been awesome to hear from you thank guys. You. Like, like thank we you. said to Doug and Sam, we're at home. If you need anything from us, just let us know. Cool. We can give you awesome. Up. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. Need more contacts around the world. Let us know. We've got family pretty much everywhere. You've got family in America at the moment in Brooklyn. So. In Brooklyn, yes. Yeah, oh right. wow. Yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, I'm, I'm tell you. Sam it's Nuna Junior. Nuna Junior. Okay. Anyway, engaging for right. for reactions. Anyway. Let's, cool. uh, let's and it was lovely to meet you, Okies. As yeah. always. Yeah, Listen, right, I love yeah. that. My South African accent always comes out a little bit stronger. Than <laughs> I have to talk slow when I'm yeah, otherwise they don't understand yeah, me. Oh <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. no, girl, girl. Can at least we have you an understand accent. what I am saying. <laughs> Words are coming out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> And on that oh, one, show, I guess we can yeah. say goodbye. Right. So, Thank you so much, guys. See you all next time. Bye. 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 Yes, guys. There was a turtle by the name of Bert, and Bert the turtle was very alert. When danger threatened him, he never got hurt. He knew just what to do. He ducked and covered. Ducked and covered. He did what we all must learn to do. You and you and you and you duck and cover. Be sure and remember what Bert the Turtle just did, friends, because every one of us must remember to do the same thing.